welcome to our female disorders presentation. We're going to talk about a whole system approach to diagnos diagnosis and treatment for the myriad of female conditions, polycystic ovaries, endometriosis, fibroids, uh, PMS, infertility, as well as the transition from cycling to non-cycling, which are the menopausal disorders, which are mainly symptomatic, hot flashes, bone loss, things like that. So let me give you a brief introduction. I'm a board qualified uh, functional neurologist. I have postdoctoral certification in functional diagnostic and, uh, medicine and integrated natural medicine and applied kinesiology. And what that allows for is a whole system approach looking at immune, hormonal, digestive, really everything that must work together to create health, as well as a natural treatment regimen. I'm also the author of the book, When Did Natural Become the Alternative?, which is a look at the, the thinking process that takes place in medicine versus uh, functional medicine. And just as a for example, in chapter one we talk about what happens in a doctor's mind when presented with a circumstance. So let's say you come into the doctor and you have um, polycystic ovaries or problem conceiving. The doctor in his mind is saying, how do I manage this condition? How do I manage this condition? Whereas in functional medicine, we actually say, how do we take this circumstance and move towards health once again? And it, in order to do that, we have to look at all the processes, all the metabolic processing in your body, hormonal, inflammation, immune, and see where things have become upset, imbalanced, disrupted, and correct those. And naturally, we, uh, as we create greater balance and greater health in your internal system, the external function works better too. So your cycle works better. Um, tissues actually heal, and I'll go over a testimonial case uh, study where uh, these ovarian cysts just disappeared once we got her system regulated better. So that first question is very important and I go through six other big thinking concepts that uh, can really help you in your journey towards uh, greater health. So let's start with another big concept. Female is not a disease. And I know you know that, but in medicine it seems that uh, being female is treated like a disease process. Um, menstruation is treated like a disease. Pregnancy a lot of times is treated like a disease. Birth is treated like a surgical uh, procedure, and I know there's circumstances where crisis comes in and, and the things, you know, interventions become necessary, but, um, you know, when the, uh, the surgery rates for birth get up to nearly half, um, I think we're treating it like a surgery and not as a natural process. Menopause is not a disease, it's a natural transition, and we want to teach you how to be a woman more naturally and gracefully. And um, I, I'm not an authority on being a woman, but I do know a whole lot about uh, female hormones, the, the cycle, the rhythms that uh, um, need to be maintained and how they get disrupted, how certain imbalances uh, cause the dysfunction and the tissue changes like the cystic and fibrous, fibrous changes and how balancing those things hormonally and the rest of the system is the treatment. It is the treatment for all of these female disorders. Um, getting on birth control or getting on estrogen is, is very often, um, it's not the treatment. And we know that now, in retrospect, we can see that it increases cancer and it increases dementia and it increases um, osteoporosis and bone fractures and things like that. So clearly if you're moving towards balance, if you're moving towards health, you would have better outcomes, not worse. So here's how the female cycle is supposed to work. So let's start at day one. The first thing that happens is this increase in follicle stimulating hormone. That bumps into the next process. So when this gets to a certain level, it causes the estrogen to rise. When that gets to a certain level, it causes a surge in luteinizing hormone. When that surges, it causes an increase climb in progesterone, 
and that's for the uh, uh, health of the uterus and the implantation. This, this uh, luteinizing hormone is dropping the egg, the ovulation. So uh, without fertilization, the natural process is that both of these hormones go down and you move into menstruation. You shed the uterine lining. And then it all starts all over again. And in fact, this needs to drop for that follicle stimulating hormone to start its climb back over. So this can be a disruptor also. So let's take a look at what goes wrong. 